What's up guys? If you're ready to level up your Unreal Engine game for film or VFX or music videos, then this series is for you. Over the past year, I've mastered the art of putting real people in virtual environments and creating cinematics. In this four part series, we're gonna dive deep into the world of Unreal Engine and you're gonna learn how to bring your own creations to life. I'll show you how to import custom models from CG Trader, how to customize them with shaders, how to use Sequencer and animate keyframes, how to key out your green screen footage and create an EXR image sequence, and how to get cinematic render settings. By the end of the series, you'll have the skills to create your very own cinematics with real life characters in virtual worlds. And to make it fun, we'll create a wacky scenario where a dog's driving a car. But don't let the simplicity fool you. Once you learn these principles, you'll be well on your way to creating your own virtual cinematics. All right, in part one, we're gonna show you how to import models from third-party sites like CG Trader, how to get your own free materials pack to customize the look of a car, and also how to apply pre-made textures to materials using blueprints. Don't worry, it's very easy. I uh, will also be providing links in the description to this awesome free park environment as well as a free 3D car model if you wanna follow along for free. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is open up our Epic Games Launcher and we're gonna wanna go to the Marketplace and you're gonna wanna search for City Park. There are two different ones, City Park Environment Collection. You're gonna probably want the bigger version with 268 or more reviews. Completely free. Go ahead and add that to your cart and download it. You'll wanna create a project with it. And I'm gonna use 5.1. You can use whichever engine you want. Okay, so that project should be there. If we go to our library, we should see City Park. Yeah, let's open this one up here. Go ahead and uh, just hit update. Okay, okay for all these messages. All right, so this is the environment. It's very large. It's basically like a big park. You have baseball fields, tennis courts, bridges, but most importantly, you have streets, and that's where our car is gonna be driving on. The next thing we need to do is bring in our custom assets. So let's go back to uh, the Epic Marketplace. The first thing we're gonna do is grab the automotive material. We're gonna be putting that on our car, and it's this one right here. I've already downloaded it so you'll just want to add it to your project if you don't see your project here that's because this is only compatible with 5.0 projects but you can hit show all projects even though it's in 5.1 you can change it to 5.0 here add a project then you will see it pop up in here so now it is in your project and you have all these different materials you have car paints um, you have rubber tires you have LED lights, uh, you have leather seats, so anything you need to uh, add to a car, this will do it. Next, we need to get our car, and this is a free car that I'll leave a link to in the description. Uh, if you already have cars, great, use those. Or if you wanna buy one, you can get a pretty good car, a much better quality one from CG Trader for about 10 bucks. Um, so if you just search in car here, and then you change the filter to you know, $10 or less. And then you make sure it has an FBX. This first one here looks like a pretty good model. I wouldn't expect too much, it's only $10, but it's definitely gonna be better than that free one. That's the one I'm gonna be using in this, so I downloaded the FBX file as well as the textures file. Create a new folder called textures in here. And I'm just gonna select all the textures and drag it in. So they're all there. Then back on the Mustang car folder, I'm gonna right click, import to game. And this FBX file is what I'm gonna select. Um, so we're just gonna import all. All right, so now we have all of our car parts. Um, we have a ton of static meshes, these are all just 3D models that have no textures on them and all these different parts make up the car. Uh, then we have our textures. We're not actually gonna be using our textures here because this specific model only has a single material that 
uh, doesn't really fit with the texture. So, all right, so this is future me. I realize some of you guys are wanting to learn how to put textures on your materials. Uh, so they look right on the static mesh. So I'm gonna jump in and show you that real quick. In the uh, contents folder, you're gonna wanna create a new folder. I'm gonna use this model called Droney. Uh, and Droney has all these textures, these 4K textures, and he has this FBX file. So we are going to bring the textures in, the whole folder for textures. And then I'm gonna right click and let me go back to the Droney folder, right click and import to game Droney. And let me go to the folder here and then the FBX file. We're just gonna import all. Okay, so as you can see, there's five static meshes and there's five materials. This one says space bug body, SG base color. This one also says body, this one also says body. This one says protector, this says protector, this says protector. So what that means is these three here are gonna go into the body material. This material is labeled body. So we're gonna double click on it. We're gonna go back to our textures. We're gonna shift, select all three for body, bring them in. This first one says body base color. Base color always goes here. Uh, RGB to base color. And then these blue ones like this, they're always the normal maps, RGB to normal. And then these last ones, you can read the description. This one says occlusion, roughness, and metallic. So AO, ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic. All right, so that's all you need to do. And then you hit apply, save it. And if you come back to the material, the body is for this specific static mesh here. And it looks correct now. Uh, the size is definitely way off. I think it's supposed to be 0.1. But yeah, you can see putting those three textures in the right order in the blueprint for the body material made this static mesh look accurate. Okay, so you got the gist of it. I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of these materials and for the visor, I'm gonna show you how to add a custom emissive color. The number three and then left click. And that's gonna make a constant three. And a constant, you can change to any color you want. So we're gonna change this constant to like a blue and then we're going to connect this constant to a multiplier node. Let me uh, clean this up for you. So we're going to connect a multiplier node in the middle. We're going to hit M and then left click. So we're going to go out from the white one to the top one. In to the emissive color. And you can see how bright it is. And you can control that with the constant. So if you hit one and left click. Then you can change this from zero to one all the way up to 10 to make it super bright. So if we make it super bright and save it, you'll see that Droney now has an emissive eye. Okay, back to the original tutorial. So instead of the traditional way, we're gonna be using the automotive materials to manually put the colors on all these static meshes. So you're gonna start with the first one you're gonna end with the last one and shift and left click. So all the static meshes are selected and then you're gonna drag it on the screen. And you're just gonna see a white car up there. There are 136 different pieces of this car. And if you move one part at a time, one part moves, so that's a problem. Um, if you hit control and G with everything selected, and that has grouped everything together. So now we can move it as one. Uh, what we'll be doing later is actually merging these into a single object. But before we merge anything, we have to paint all the individual pieces with the automotive material pack. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our automotive material. We're gonna go to our 
materials, exterior, car paint, and we're gonna start painting this car. I'm gonna choose this baby blue color, but feel free to paint your car however you like. There's some really cool colors in here. Some are like half orange, half red, uh, and they look different with the angle of the light. But uh, I'm gonna fast forward through this and I'll stop at a few key moments when I do the tires and the glass and the headlights and stuff like that. color does not match at all so I'm gonna go over here to the metals and we're gonna start doing the rims and uh, adding some metal items here okay so next we are going to do the tires so if we go to exterior rubber Let's just throw it on there and see. That uh, looks really good, actually. Okay, and the next thing is we're gonna do the glass. So let's go back to exterior glass. There's a tinted window. I like the tinted one. All right, looking better. Let's make the inside black. We can go to interior for this and do some leather. All right, almost done here. Now we're gonna add some emissive lights to these headlights, and uh, we're gonna add some red emissive lights to the back tail lights. Okay, so the car is now built, and I'm gonna go ahead and merge everything. So the next step is to highlight everything that says Mustang over here. Select, actor, merge, merge actor settings, and then replace actor source. So that's basically gonna take away all 135 of these and make them one. It's also gonna create a single static mesh the original car will still be there. So if you want to further animate the wheels or the headlights, you can still go back to the original model and customize those parts individually. Okay, so now we have our car and it is a single static mesh and we can just bring it out and take a look at it. All right, guys, future me here again. I wanted to point this out. If you look at the hood of the or the roof of the car, you can see if you're looking through the transparent glass windshield that the roof is also transparent. A lot of people think you need to go into the static mesh and change some settings there, but it's actually the material. So if you notice when you click on your car, all the car paints that we put on there are all their own element. Uh, we put 27 different types of paint, or I did. Uh, and each one has its own element. So we find the element 
that is transparent that we don't want to be transparent. In this case, it's this blue paint right here that's on the roof of the car. Double click on it, search for two. You wanna check two-sided, and then you also wanna check the second box here and watch what happens. Now the roof is no longer two-sided. So go in, find all your materials, even like the rubber coating around the windshield, uh, anything that's transparent that you don't wanna be transparent, and check the two-sided, check both those boxes, and you'll be good. And here's just a quick render to show you what it can look like. This isn't a very high quality render, but pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. Uh, in the next one, we are going to be bringing in some green screen actors, a dog, and putting him in the driver's seat. And the one after that, we're gonna be animating it. And then the one after that, we're gonna be rendering. So follow along, we'll see you in the next one.